solving inequalities with no solution or all real numbers as solutions. For each inequality, choose the statement that describes its solution. If applicable, give the solution. So I have inequalities. I need to try to solve them and determine if, if it's unsolvable, if it's a no solution inequality, or if I can solve it, what the solution will be, or if it's infinite solutions. So on this first one here, um, I'm going to rewrite the inequality. So 5 times the quantity 4 minus V plus 5V and is greater than or equal to 23. And then I'm just going to start to solve it, just like I would any inequality. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at each side of the inequality as individual little problems and just try to simplify at, if I can. So over here, if I distribute, I get 20 minus 5V plus 5V and then I have two variable terms I can combine here and minus 5V plus 5V, these two actually just zero each other out and I'm left with just 20 on that side. Um, on this side, I have nothing to simplify, I just have the one constant term, so I have 23 and if I bring my inequality down, I, I have a false statement here. It says 20 is greater than or equal to 23, which is false. And all my variables dropped out. So that means it doesn't matter what the variable is, what value we give the variable, this inequality will never be true. So I'm going to mark no solution for this one. On this next one, again, let me rewrite the inequality, y plus 4 plus 34 is less than 5 times the quantity 2 minus y. Okay, so here, again, treat each side as its own little miniature problem to start with. So I'm going to distribute negative 3y minus 12, doing negative 3 times both of those terms, and then plus 34. And then, let's see, I only have one y term, but I have two constant terms that I can combine. So I have negative 3y and 34 minus 12 is 22. Now, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just treat it like its own little miniature problem and simplify. So if I distribute over here, I get 10 minus 5y. And I can't combine those terms because this one has a variable and that one doesn't. So I have to just leave them as is. So I'll just bring both those down just like that. Now we're going to work on the inequality as a whole. Okay. Once I've simplified each side as far as they'll go, then I work on the inequality as a whole. Well, I have variable terms on both sides of my inequality, and I only want variable terms on one side, preferably the left over here. So if I keep this one, I need to zero out that one or eliminate it. So the opposite of negative 5y is positive 5y, and I do the same thing to the other side. Those eliminate, and I'm left with just 10 on the right. On the left over here, 5y minus 3y is 2y plus 22. Now, I'm going to work on the constant terms. I have constant terms on both sides. I want to only keep a constant term on this side, so I need to eliminate or zero out that one. So I'm going to subtract 22. Now, I don't have to flip my inequality sign here because I'm not multiplying or dividing by a negative number. I'm subtracting. So my inequality stays the same. I have negative 12 on this on the right, 2y on the left. And then my last step is to divide out my coefficient and I'm left with y is less than negative 6. So I was able to solve this one all the way through. Uh, my answer is a y is less than 
So I'm going to choose this and fill in negative 6.